everybody, this is Hudson. He is a available dog at the Attleboro Animal Shelter. He is a beautiful boy. We call him the latest hybrid. We call him a pound, a pity slash hound mix. He's a red and white boy. He's a little chunky and he's about two years old. And on his pet finder profile, you'll see that we have him listed as Hudson Unleashed. Hudson spent his life living outside tied to a three foot chain in all types of weather. The owners didn't feel that they should bring him in because dogs shed. Dogs do shed all year long, but um, yeah, you're a good boy. Um, but they also deserve to be in a home. Hudson can be a little nervous when first meeting people, but he's come a long way since the minute he arrived. He's learned that hands are good and that people will love him, and he's learned that he's worth a home. And so we're hoping that that home is out there. We do know it's out there somewhere. Um, and he's gonna be a great addition to someone's family. He's about two years old and he's probably been here maybe five or six months. He's got a little junk in his trunk. <laughs> you can email us at attleboropets at hotmail.com. You can go online at our website at faaspets.org. Or you can like us on Facebook at Friends of Attleboro Animal Shelter and you can come on down during adoption hours, Wednesday night, six to eight, Saturday 11 to three, Sunday 11 to one, and tell them Hudson sent you. We are getting ready for our annual Harvest Fest, which is probably one of our biggest fundraising events of the year. This year it's going to be on October 4th. We'll still be located here at the shelter on Pond Street in Attleboro. Um, you could look again on our website or our Facebook page for more information. We'll be looking for vendors, uh, different rescue groups, craft vendors that would like to get a spot, I believe. A spot is available for $30 and we'll have raffles, contests, bake sale, we'll be having food. It's a great event to come and at that point you'll be able to see the construction on our new animal shelter which will hopefully be finished by the end of the year we're looking for. So people when they come down for the Harvest Fest will be able to see the progress that we've made so far in the construction and how important it is for us to be moving into a bigger and better environment for these animals. Usually we ask for a donation per carload of people that come to the event. There's tons of events, there's food, there's face painting, pumpkin carving contests we've had in the past, uh, lots of crafts for the kids to take part in. It's a dog friendly event, so as long as your dog is leashed, then you can bring it to the shelter and have that walk around with you as well. And all of the proceeds that we raise through that go to the vetting of all of the animals, making sure they all get their shots and are spayed and neutered. All of our animals are microchipped before they're adopted out, so it goes towards that too. And we always have animals that we end up taking in that have special medical issues beyond just spay, neuter, and shots. So that will go towards that ease as well. This summer we've had a couple of kittens who have had some serious eye issues. We've caught a good number, a good amount of medical bills taking care of these kittens. They're all healthy and able to be adopted now, but it's been a, ro a long road and we've, you know, accrued a lot of money taking care of these babies. So a lot of that money that we raise at the shelter at the Harvest Fest and other events go towards taking care of that sort of issue. If you want to find out more about the Attleboro Animal Shelter, you can go to www.faas.org or you can visit our Facebook page on Facebook, which I believe is Attleboro Pets, um, or you could uh, come visit the shelter at Wednesday night, six to eight, Saturdays, 11 to three, and Sundays, 11 to one. And we're always thankful for the people that support the Friends of the Attleboro Animal Shelter and all the animals in Attleboro. We wouldn't be able to do as volunteers what we do without your support. Um, monetarily coming to our fundraisers, giving us, you know, animal uh, blankets, all of the things we need like litter and food. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do it without the community. We truly are a community. Um,